Here we're given some information and we're asked to write an inequality and to solve it. So when I'm writing inequalities or equations from real world scenarios like this, I like to kind of set up the structure, kind of the skeleton of my equation or inequality, and then fill in the numbers and variables into that structure. So let's think about what's going on here. It says a track team needs to raise $2,000 for new uniforms. So they need to, to raise some money. They have $350 in donations and then they're gonna wash some cars to raise some more money. So let's think about what that means. So we're going to raise some money and do we want that money we raised to be less than the money we need for our uniforms or greater than? We want the money we raise to be greater than the amount of money we need to pay for our uniforms. It says it needs to be at least $2,000. So that means we would be fine if it's greater than $2,000 or if we had exactly $2,000. So greater than or equal to. Now let's think about the money that we are raising. Let's break that down a little further. When we think about how they're gonna get money, they're just gonna get some donations and then they're gonna get some money from the car wash. So let's start filling these numbers in now that we have that structure. So as far as donations, they just have $350 in donations. That's just money they have on hand. And then with the car wash, they get $8 per car. So is it just 350 plus eight? It would be 350 plus eight if we only washed one car. But let's say we washed 10 cars. How much money would we get from the car wash? Well, if it's $8 per car, eight times 10 would be $80. What we're doing to raise money for the car wash, we're gonna get $8 times however many cars we wash. So let's call that C. And then the amount of money for the uniforms, we need $2,000. So this is our inequality right here that we are now gonna to try to solve for C to find out how many cars we need to wash in order to make at least $2,000. So for solving this for C, we need to move the numbers away from C. So we need to move that eight and we need to move that 350. You always wait to undo the multiplying. Um, so let's move this 350 over to the right side by subtracting 350. Now remember the thing when you're solving inequalities is sometimes you need to flip that symbol. So right now it's greater than or equal to, do we have to flip it so it's less than or equal to? You only flip the sign when you have to multiply or divide by a negative number to solve it. So each step you go through to solve an inequality, you ask yourself, do I flip the sign? And in this case, all we did was subtract, so our sign stays the same. Now let's move that eight to the other side by dividing by eight. So do we flip the sign when we divide by a positive eight? No. So what this is saying is C, the number of car washes, has to be greater than or equal to 206.25. So you can't do 0.25 of a car wash. So how many cars do we have to wash? If we wash 206, would that be enough? No, because it has to be greater than or equal to this. So 206 is actually less than 206.25. So we would have to wash 207 cars.